Otto Rule, the 23rd of October 1874 in Grosherma, the 24th of June 1943 in Mexico, was a student of Alfred Adler and a German Marxist active in opposition to both the First and Second World Wars. He was a founder along with Karl Liebknecht, Rosa Luxemburg, Franz Mehring and others of the group and magazine Internationale, which posed a revolutionary internationalism against a world of warring states, and also the Spartacist League in 1916. The Spartacist League took an oppositional stance to Leninism, and was criticized by the Bolsheviks for inconsistency. Though Karl Liebknecht and Rosa Luxemburg were murdered in 1919 for their involvement in the German Revolution, Ruhl lived on to participate in the left opposition of the German labor movement, developing both an early communist critique of Bolshevism, and an early opposition to fascism. Ruhl saw the Soviet Union as a form of state capitalism that had much in common with the state-centered capitalism of the West, as well as fascism. It has served as the model for other capitalistic dictatorship. Ideological divergences do not really differentiate socio-economic systems. He also saw the Leninist party as an appropriate form for the overthrow of Tsarism, but ultimately an inappropriate form for a proletarian revolution. As such, no matter what the actual intentions of the Bolsheviks, what they actually succeeded in bringing about was much more like the bourgeois revolutions of Europe than a proletarian revolution. This distinction between head and body, between intellectuals and workers, officers and privates, corresponds to the duality of class society. One class is educated to rule, the other to be ruled. Lenin's organization is only a replica of bourgeois society. His revolution is objectively determined by the forces that create a social order incorporating these class relations, regardless of the subjective goals accompanying this process. Ruhl was also critical of the party as a revolutionary organizational form, stating that, "...the revolution is not a party affair," and supported a more council communist approach which emphasized the importance of workers' councils. He was involved in setting up the Allgemeine Arbeiter Union, Einheitsorganisation in October 1921. In anti Bolshevik communism, Paul Matic describes Ruhl as an exemplary radical figure within a German labor movement that had become ossified into various official structures, a perpetual outsider defined by his antagonistic relationship with the labor movement, to Leninist party communism, as well as to capitalist democracy and fascism. With the signing of the Germany and Russian War Alliance in 1939, Ruhl began to see the parallels between the two ideological dictators, writing, Russia was the example for fascism. Whether party communists like it or not, the fact remains that the state order and rule in Russia are indistinguishable from those in Italy and Germany. Essentially, they are alike. One may speak of a red, black, or brown Soviet state, as well as of red, black or brown fascism. Because of his connection to Leon Trotsky, Ruhl found it difficult to find work in Mexico and was forced to hand paint note cards for hotels to financially survive. One Ruhl was a member of the Dewey Commission which cleared Trotsky of all charges made during the Moscow trials. Ruhl wrote a very detailed Karl Marx, His Life and Works, 1928, Transl. 1929, Viking Press, New York. In 1921 he married Alice Gerstel, a German-Jewish writer, feminist, and psychologist. She followed him to Mexico in 1936, and committed suicide on the day of his death, 24 June 1943. See also Exiliterature References Topic. Sources Mia Auto Rule Archive Karasje.org Auto Rule Archive Non Leninist Marxism Writings on the Workers' Councils includes rules, The Revolution is Not a Party Affair, and Report from Moscow, Red and Black Publishers, St. Petersburg, Florida, 2007. ISBN 978-0-9791813-6-8. The Struggle Against Fascism Begins with the Struggle Against Bolshevism 1939.